What I've heard you describe Esther being a vibrational snob at times, and I love that term. When I feel like I'm not being careful or a vibrational snob, I don't ask where are we going and who's going to be there and what's the movie and pay attention to think details like that, I can get off track quicker. Isn't that trying well, to control the details it though? It is, it is, but consider it from this point of view. If you're thinking in terms of your vibrational state of being, and what you're bringing to the movie. If your awareness is who shows up at the movie, meaning who of you, what part of you shows up to the movie rather than what movie are you showing up to? Because what movie are we going to is a condition. Who shows up is open-ended and unlimited. You might be at a movie that you wouldn't choose, but in your state of alignment, you might pick up something new that you don't have access to in any other way. There are insights in movies that you can benefit from accomplishing that you don't want to live real life in order to accomplish it. Okay, I've been filtering a little differently than I, I get what you're saying there. I'll, I'll avoid movies that sound depressing or avoid horror movies. It's not so much the type of movie. It's not what the movie is, it's who showed up at it. Esther remembers years ago going to the movie Ghost. A friend dragged Jerry and Esther to the movie and they weren't going to many movies. Do you remember the movie? It's a long time ago, but there was a scene where the icky, horrible demons crawled out of the vents and were dragging people into them. And when Esther saw it, she just laughed right out loud. Her voice just rang out in the theater. It was so odd. It was not the part. No one else was laughing. Because no one else knew that that's not how it works. And Esther just thought it was so clever and creative and so predictable that she just found that incredibly amusing. And no one else laughed. But the movie didn't affect her and what she knows to be. It just bumped up against who she is and what she knows. We'll say it again. How much of me am I taking to the movie is much more important than what movie am I conditionally going to see in this guarded stance of wanting to hold myself in that place. It's about being sure of who you are before you go, not going to shore up who you are. And when I find myself in a situation that I know I've created, this is a WWAD, what would Abraham do? Before you go there, we are really enjoying when I find myself there. Don't like, surprise! <laughs> like I didn't see that coming. I just kind of blundered in and... <laughs> I'll go to a movie. I like going to movies and not that often. Occasionally I'll be sitting there and the movie's about to start and someone comes in and plops down beside me and they're loud or they bump the seat and it goes on for a while, they're noisy. And I think, what would Abraham do? Do I get up and move? Yes. Do I remove myself from it? Yeah, from Do I try to tune them out? Yeah. Do I turn around and ask them, could you be quiet? No, we wouldn't no? do that because then that just makes them want to bump the seat more. No. So move, remove yourself yeah. from the situation. Yeah. We always do whatever we can do to feel as good as we can feel in every situation. So if somebody's bumping your seat and you can move, then move. Now, if you're on an airplane and every seat is full and there's somebody behind you bumping your seat, or here's a really good one. They've got their tray table down and they're playing cards on the tray table on the seat that you're sitting in. <laughs> and so what do you do? Well, you might enjoy how brief the flight is. You might enjoy the fun they're having. In other words, there are a lot of things that you can do. But what we always would lean toward is self-adjustment. Because if you do something other than adjust yourself, then you have to deal with their readiness to adjust. You're much more capable of adjusting yourself within a situation than you are getting anyone else to adjust for you. That's empowerment. Yes. Cool. Yeah. And we wouldn't spend time doing things like so many of you do, like, how did I get here? I must have been bad in a past life. <laughs> we would just 
be as you are, say, well, I found myself here, didn't see that coming, and always the answer is the same. I didn't allow my positive momentum to pick up enough speed to carry me through this movie. And it's usually because I went to the movie to raise my vibration rather than I went into the movie with a raised vibration. I get it. I overthink yeah. it. Yeah. 